What's happening, folks? I'm back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran. And we're going back to their 1993 album, uh, self-titled album, or the wedding album, though this is once again a bonus track that was not included on my uh, particular copy of the album. Uh, we're going to talk Drowning Man, but we're listening to a tune, or a remix of it, sorry, that is called the D-Ream, or, you know, dream but kind of stylized with a hyphen, uh, D-Ream Ambient Mix. Um, so those of you who know, uh, know I'm very much uh, into a number of different electronic musical styles, including ambient, or even more specifically, Sibient, which is to say psychedelic ambient, or even more specifically, acidic Sibient, or acid Sibient, as I've sort of styled it on the ambient excursion mixes that I do. Um, but those of you who know those mixes or that style will know that, you know, ambient in that context doesn't just mean true ambient, which is to say, you know, without a kick drum, without much percussion at all, real kind of soundscapes, the use of sort of pads and sort of incidental noises to create an ambiance and so on. Um, it also means down tempo, which is like, you know, it can be um, syncopated or more of a straightaway 4-4 beat, but it tends to be slower. It tends to be a little more integrated with the melody instead of sort of like having the percussion like drive the track. Um, there are chill out tracks which can be sort of like down tempo but can also have um, like drum bits where they're like drum and bass kind of high percussion you know like hi-hats and uh, cymbals and so on um, and it can also be trance whether it's you know sometimes called ambient trance or dream trance um, or uh, chill aggressive there are a number of tunes that are used for a associated um, grouping of styles that is sometimes just called ambient. So when I see that name ambient mix, um, I am in, uh, inclined to think that it might not be true ambient. It might be a, like a dancier form of ambient, um, perhaps not entirely dissimilar um, from the flavor of some of the tracks that I use in my ambient excursions, which again, most properly would be considered sibient or like acid sibient because um, a lot of them have like 303 um, work involved in one way or another, whether it's like bass or a lead or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure, maybe this is like a true ambient track where it's very floaty and there isn't really a kick drum and so on, uh, but my suspicion is that it might be ambient in the sort of broader sense of the term, which means kind of dreamy, um, slower or otherwise um, more floaty, but still having percussion type of electronic tune. So again, that's just a speculation out of the gate. Um, you know, we'll see if uh, it has a similar flavor to the original, but the very fact that it's called an ambient mix suggests to me that sonically it probably is going to be very different. Um, I'll admit, you know, I've been listening to a lot of Duran's tunes after doing reactions, um, and you know, there's a couple tunes on this album that I have continued to listen to a great deal. Um, such as Too Much Information, as well as uh, None of the Above, uh, Sin of the City. But I will say Drowning Man, I haven't like re-listened to it a number of times. So, um, you know, with apologies in terms of maybe not being able to compare and contrast this one as much uh, as some other tunes, if I was listening to a remix of those tunes, um, I will still try to comment afterward or, you know, as it plays out. Um, in terms of, you know, the, the sort of vibe that it's giving me relative to what I remember from the original. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. This is the D-Ream, or Dream Ambient Mix, of Drowning Man by Duran Duran from their 1993 self-titled album. <laughs> Proper sort of ambient intro, anyway. But that street, that... That tells me we might have... So what we going for is reality. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be like a down-tempo, kind of mellow trance sort of thing. Whistles its way down, pops back up to the top, and then does it again. I mean, there literally is a style of trance called Dream Trance. It tends to have more like piano and like like Robert Miles is maybe the best example, but 
just give me Dream Trance vibes. Which, given that it's the Dream or the Dream ambient mix. But again, this is 93, like, Trance exists by 93, certainly. Um, but it's still in its formative days, so like... I'm trying to think of when Robert Miles tracks were like 95, 96. It feels like a trance track that is like constantly in a breakdown. There we go. I like the washed out character of the vocals. There's lots of, whether it's ascending or descending, there's lots of like streaks in this tune. Lots of like synths running up, synths running down. And again, it has this like, we're constantly in a sort of breakdown, like, and that sort of like, that airy feeling when you're waiting for the kick to come back. It really feels like a trance tune. That low end, that boom, 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 it's a bit more housey. What can I say? I am inclined to electronic music many kinds, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. This is like... This section would not be out of place in one of my ambient excursions. The... Again, the sensibilities in this one are very, like... Not just, like dance floor, like club, but they feel more like kind of early rave vibe, which again, that's a testament to like, not only have they done disco and house, but I feel like, at least through some of these bonus tracks, it's like, there are Duran tunes that are approaching like, the type of electronic music that, you know, for me, would draw my interest as a raver in the 90s. Is there anything they don't do? I like that little flourish at the end of the, the measure. What's that? I mean, this is an MP3, but like... Or maybe it's a... playing though. That's unfortunate. Izzy, I need you to check whether like maybe it just like ripped like badly. Hopefully your CD that this is taken from, hopefully it's not like this. But it's like just playing on my meaning like the file isn't corrupted, like this is how it was written. Basically, I hope your CD like isn't, I hope this was just like a, a sort of dodgy rip. Uh, but thankfully it was just like in the last like minute and a half of the tune. Um, still a little unfortunate, but... Uh, Paul being real, is that what you said? 
Funny, like the, the the oh shit, like DJ and me kicked in right there. Cause you know sometimes when you're mixing a set, like you know maybe a record that you've used many many times has picked up a little extra scratch, a little extra rough spot that wasn't there the last time you played it. Uh, and when that happens, sometimes it can like skip. And if it skips while you're beat matching, while you're transitioning, it can cause a huge problem. So often when you hear a skip as a DJ, like it instantly, like, oh shit, is this something where I'm gonna have to do like a really rapid like transition to the other record just to, you know, save it from, you know, like looping on a like on a skip or something like that. So yeah, it was funny how the like DJ like side of me kicked into gear and it's like, oh, I gotta transition. I gotta like, I gotta figure something out. Um, but yeah, no, uh, despite that little glitch, um, it's really cool. I enjoyed it, and not only um, did it sort of fit in with what I was thinking in advance, that it's an ambient tune that also has elements of trance and down-tempo and um, chill-out, um, but yeah, I did enjoy this, the particular atmosphere, and again, for a tune um, that came out in 93, um, I really think it sort of you know, it does some things that more formal trance tracks did um, in the next couple of years or around this same time. Um, so yeah, so it just seems that like, again, whether it's through their own tracks on their proper albums or whether um, through some of the bonus tracks, it, there just seems to be very few genres, you know, in the entire musical world that a Duran tune has not touched in one way or another. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Uh, yeah, again, uh, apologies for the little skip. Like I said, hopefully um, the original source of that material um, doesn't have that problem. Maybe it was just a, a rip. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of that one. Obviously, it was less lyrical oriented, more um, oriented toward um, the sonics and you know, sort of the the dance kind of atmosphere. Although again, kind of like a, a mellow, floaty sort of dance atmosphere. Uh, yeah, but let me know what you think. Other than that, I will see you next time.